I am mind blown after last night's message, and I missed, God uh, deliberately allowed me to miss a verse, the key verse to everything we spoke last night about, you know, um, Moses striking the rock versus speaking to it, uh, and uh, how we can start in a relationship with God and abuse him, and even that abuse was what brought that new life, the, the rivers of blood and water flowing through us. And, uh, man, the verse I missed was Matthew 7, or John 7, and it was anyone who believes in me and come and thirst, and uh, streams of living water will flow from their heart. And it's, he's pointing to the Holy Spirit. He said, but we won't, it, it will enter into us. And he is the living water through us. And, uh, but it won't be obtained until Christ came into all of his glory. And which he rose again. And we have that glory. And why God allowed me to miss that verse is because I can share all the treasures of this, uh, of what God gives us. I can share of the sin that separates us from him. I can share the worldly versions of the things of God and the true versions of things of God. I can share all these things. But the treasures can't be obtained until... Jesus gives that key. Only he can give that key. I, he allowed me to miss it to show that only he can give it. Because in my humanness, I cannot give you the rivers of life. I cannot give you the relationship with God. I can tell you all about it. I can tell you what separates you from him. But as 2 Corinthians 4 says, we are fragile clay jars. We have this great treasure in our hearts, but it but it shows that the power is from God and not ourselves. So he will deliberately allow me to miss that. So it's like, okay, but let me show you and remind you that this key is only from me. So I can, yeah, and, and as it says in Jeremiah, Job, Elijah, Daniel, they you could be under them and, and listening to their words, but their righteousness will only save themselves. In the same way, I can preach the great treasures of heaven and be used by God. But the flowing rivers, only he can give you that key for that new life. I can just point you to it. And I can warn you, I can tell you what's going to keep you from it. I can tell you how we must live in this walk. But you must believe and trust in him and obey and, and, and live according to him. And he will give you the key. He will give you the Holy Spirit. You can listen to me or anybody else preaching for years. about the treasures but that's not the key to get you where you need to go out of his heart grows the river of life flows the river of life therefore he will give us these things when we fully want him and we surrender our life and it will just flow through us and we'll have all these fruits producing in us through whatever situation And uh, he will provide it if you ask him. Don't just rely on people to give you those treasures or your own actions. No. The missing key is brought forth by him. 
because I failed to deliver it. I missed that key verse. But he brought it to us. And he's like, hey, look. This, you you gave us the treasure box. I'm going to give you the key. So uh, that's what I wanted to share, brothers and sisters. And man, treasure it. Treasure it. God bless y'all.